Remember when you first had the dream of starting your business and you imagined the time and the money, freedom, and doing something that you would love? And is that your reality now? Or are you struggling with dwindling profits and employee challenges or how to attract customers and maybe really lost in the tasks of your business and you've lost the passion and it's not producing the lifestyle that you would love? Here's some ways to really reignite your passion for your business, increase your revenues, your profits, and the impact that you're having in the world, all while living a life that you love. Making the mindset shift from an employee to an entrepreneur, it seems like an easy thing. You're passionate about what you do. You're excited to be the boss and to be in control. And shifting from being an employee to an entrepreneur really requires a paradigm shift and a mindset shift. Also, if you're a business owner and you want to move from one level of success in your business into the next level, it requires a paradigm shift or a mindset shift. The same thinking that you had as an employee is not the same thinking required to run a successful business. The same thinking that's created a six-figure business is not the same thinking required to create a seven-figure business. So if you have found yourself lost in the grind, wondering if you're doing the right thing, is it time to quit? Is it ever going to be successful? There are some simple mindset and strategy things that you can implement to get you back to the passion that you had when you first started your business and reaching that next level of results. The first place to start is to go back to the vision. When you first launched your business and you made that decision to move it forward, I can almost guarantee that you had a vision. You had a picture of what you wanted that business to accomplish, how you were gonna show up as a business owner, and it's not uncommon when we get into the day-to-day -day that that vision gets lost. So go back to the vision. Why are you doing what you're doing? What did you want to accomplish? What were you hoping to achieve? And maybe you've accomplished some of that vision and it's time to go back to the drawing board and say, what's next? What's the next vision or evolution of, of your business? And so back to the vision. It sounds so simple, but it's something that we often lose when we get into the day-to-day -day grind of operating a business. So back to your vision, that's the key. The second thing that you can do to reignite your passion and get back on track with your revenues, with the impact you want to make, is start tracking your wins. Chances are you haven't taken the time to really celebrate your growth, to look back and see how far you've come the difference you've made in people's lives and celebrating all of the successes. And so, yes, it's important to look at the challenges, solve those problems, put out the fires, but not at the expense of celebrating the wins as well. When you're in a staff meeting, start that staff meeting with celebrating the wins. What are you grateful for? What's going right? And from that energy, go into solving your problems, but always start with the wins. The other thing that can get us distracted in our business is comparing ourselves to other people. This may be your competitors, this may be peers, this might be uh, suppliers or people that you meet at networking events and you're comparing your results to what you think other people are accomplishing or how they're doing. We call it comparison despair, looking to other people and then feeling lesser about ourselves. Celebrate your peers, celebrate your competitors, celebrate the other people you know in your business community and run your race. We have no idea what's going on in other people's lives, other people's businesses. When you see somebody having results that you want, celebrate them and claim that result for yourselves. So avoid the comparison despair, move to celebration and run your race. Trust that you are in the right and perfect place for you and, and just really be proud of what you're accomplishing and stay true to your goals and your vision. And finally, ask for help. Highly successful business owners, elite athletes, they have coaches, they have mentors, they have structures of support around them because they know that they can go faster and further with support. 
So who are your mentors? Who are your coaches? Who's your support network? We are not meant to do life on our own. Never mind running a business on your own. Make sure you have a structure of support that's going to help you get to that next level. If you're looking for more support in achieving your goals in your business, make sure that you're part of our ever expanding Facebook community. This is a group of individuals who are building their dreams. They've got growth mindsets and they're supporting each other in really accomplishing those next level of results. So head over to Facebook, join our Facebook community and don't be a lone ranger. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Here is to you living a life you love.